Hey, this is Dino Sound Dynasty. Please like, share, subscribe, be kind, helpful, and grateful. And uh, buy some silver, platinum, and crystallized osmium because it's because it, it is not financial advice. Because it's not financial advice, you should buy some. Because these are financial advice. Just look at Kramer, okay? <laughs> if, if you want to be believe a financial advisor, listen to Kramer or or listen to non-financial advice. And this is not financial advice. It's just very good advice. Uh, have, have some silver, platinum, and crystallized osmium. You won't regret having any of those things. But that's not what this is about. This is about Platina taking a bath. Platina, is the water hot enough for you? Okay, it is. She, she said it's hot enough. All right, show's over. See you guys later. Good night. Now, this is a... Uh, hmm. I've been debating if I should narrate over this, but I'll, I'll uh, state at the beginning. Is That's what I'll do. I, mean, I just decided this. Uh, the yuan will fall. The ruble, the ruby, the yen, all of them will fall before the dollar. That's already been stated and agreed to by everybody who knows. So... That's a given. Having said that, I will just go ahead and let this play out. It's a long video. It's like 10 minutes. I probably won't let it play all the way out, but I might. It's from, it's three hours old. It's from, uh, oh no. Oh no, it's from Black Screen. Ah, Black Screen, NSA, NSA. Uh, we love Africa. You should subscribe to them. They're pretty big. This is uh, three hours old. Bricks launching. New stablecoin pegged by Chinese win yuan. When is the yuan going to get pegged? Gold backed currency. Okay, that's a little mis misleading of a statement. And, you know, it's clickbait uh, as to their own report. That's why I debated whether I should. Uh... Oh, yeah, and also says here Brick Salt's new memberships. What's he look like? Until now, there have been speculations about whether Bricks will launch a new currency in competition with the US dollar or not even though there were official talks on launching a new payment system like SWIFT. No official news came about BRICS currency. But things have changed now. BRICS is thinking of various options, considering what to use to peg the new currency. In this respect, Russia has increased its efforts and wants to launch the currency before its chairmanship ends this year. As of now, BRICS has proposed either launching a cryptocurrency pegged by the Chinese yuan or a whole new currency pegged by gold. How will they work and whether both will be picked by BRICS? In this video, let's find out. Let's first talk about BRICS working on launching crypto exchanges and a BRICS stablecoin. It's been about 15 years since BRICS was launched. However, until now, it could not develop its own currency. But Russia is changing everything because it has the opportunity, being the chairman of the alliance, in this capacity, Russia has announced plans to launch state-backed cryptocurrency exchanges and develop a BRICS pegged stablecoin linked to the Chinese yuan. But these are not just plans. Russia plans to set up two major cryptocurrency exchanges in Moscow and St. Petersburg. These exchanges aim to enhance foreign economic activity by enabling digital transactions and integrating digital payments for trade settlements. The Moscow Exchange is expected to be established as a separate entity under an experimental legal framework, while the St. Petersburg Exchange could leverage the existing infrastructure of the St. Petersburg Currency Exchange, SPC. The primary focus of these exchanges will be the creation and use of stablecoins. Stablecoins are actually cryptocurrencies typically pegged to a reserve of assets, such as national currencies or a basket of currencies. Russia is particularly interested in developing stablecoins linked to the Chinese renminbi, RMB, yuan, and the BRICS currency basket. This approach aims to strengthen economic cooperation among BRICS nations while reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar. All member countries would get the chance to use a single stablecoin, which will be backed by their national currencies. In this way, using stablecoin will bring indirect benefits for all members, as the demand for their national uh, currencies and such will increase issues. in the market, dragging their value high. But what about the possibility of the stablecoin being pegged with only Chinese yuan? Launching crypto exchanges is a broad plan, but for now, focusing on establishing infrastructure 
that could sustain a single ready-to-use. Stablecoin is the priority. Russia and its BRICS partners are exploring the launch of a stablecoin pegged to the Chinese yuan at a one-to-one -one ratio. This move aligns with China's goal to position the yuan as a global currency and reflects a broader strategy to reduce dependence on the U.S. dollar in international trade. The stablecoin is expected to offer a stable, secure method for conducting transactions, minimizing concerns about price volatility. Isn't that just a way to control inflation they're having in their country? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. There's been so many things I wanted to interject on so far that are just wrong with this program. I mean, it'll it'll work, but it's gonna it's it's gonna be a range train wreck. Uh, where, where do I start? Okay, Russia is gonna control the market. Everyone's money's going to be in it. Problem number one. Uh, it's all centrally located and controlled by the Communist Party of Russia. And all these other countries have to use it. Problem two. If it's pegged to the yuan, yuan is in worse shape than the dollar. Their inflation is worse. So if they peg this cryptocurrency one-to-one -one with the yuan, they just doubled their money supply. Isn't that the worst thing to do under inflation? Just a question. And uh, if they peg it to gold, they'll be better off. But the problem with pegging it to gold is uh, the countries that are accepted into BRICS already, actually, a lot of them hate each other. And when starting a new monetary system, I, I mean, just it happened here. In, it happens here in America. It's just not reported. People get greedy. And countries want to destroy other countries economically. It's been proven. So uh, what would prevent... Iran from economically attacking in a positive or negative way to drive up or down the price of Saudi Arabia's coin backed by their gold? And what kind of economic impact would that have? And, and would that also not cause a war between them that America had nothing to do with? But hey, you know, let's just pretend all BRICS countries are kumbaya, they pass flowers, they kiss each other, say hello in the streets. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's go on with the, the issues. I mean, it will work, but boy, is it a train wreck. <laughs> it's it's going to be a working train wreck. It'll work at first, then it'll be a train wreck. But can this stable coin be pegged by gold? Well, there have been no official statements about it, but there is speculation that the BRICS stable coin could be backed by gold, given the substantial reserves held by BRICS countries. This backing would not only provide solid support for the currency, but also attract nations seeking alternatives to dollar-denominated assets. But what is India doing about BRICS' plan to launch a stablecoin? Well, as Russia advances its digital currency initiatives, India is working on establishing a comprehensive regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. The Indian government is actively seeking public input on crypto regulation, with a detailed framework expected to be unveiled later this year. There are reports that... It Hold on, so... <laughs> I know you guys are all happy you already kumbaya it, but it's not coming out anytime soon, because what they just said, India doesn't have the ability to regulate a cryptocurrency, and they're not going to be able to to the end of this year. And that's, that's no, excuse me, they're not going to have the input for regulation till this year, not that they'll have the regulation or be able to do anything with it. They'll just have the populace's input into it. It'll take them another full year at, at warp speed to set up the infrastructure based off of whatever input they're going to have brought to them by the end of this year. So best case scenario, end of next year, if it's at warp speed, India will have the minimal capabilities of entering into a BRICS digital currency. So it's not going to happen till earliest 2025. Get off your high horse. A lot of shit can happen till then. India used cryptocurrencies to buy oil from the UAE. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video. Yeah, I'm going to give him credit for this. To watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. But how will this empower BRICS? The launch of a crypto stable coin by the BRICS nations has the potential to transform how these countries conduct trade by moving away from traditional financial systems and encouraging closer economic ties. Anchored to the Chinese Yuan, this stablecoin would utilize the powerful infrastructure of blockchain technology, 
which offers several advantages for international commerce. Until now, this technology was being used by individuals only, allowing them to send and receive money without going through the typical payment system like SWIFT. Did you know that there are over 500 strains of probiotic bacteria? BRICS is becoming the first alliance to adopt cryptocurrencies. By implementing a blockchain-based stablecoin, BRICS countries could facilitate real-time settlements and greatly reduce the risk of fraud and errors often found in traditional banking systems. The use of blockchain technology for their stablecoin would enable BRICS members to streamline all types of trade. Unlike traditional financial systems that rely on intermediaries, such as banks and Western-led payment systems, blockchain allows for direct, secure transactions between trading partners, no matter where they are located. This is particularly beneficial for BRICS nations. Actually, that's only true if you follow the rules. If you're a hacker, uh, digital technology money system is a gift from heaven. Which span multiple continents and operate under different economic policies and regulations. Blockchain technology thus helps create a unified, efficient trading environment, promoting stronger economic ties among these countries. Moreover, tying the BRICS stablecoin to the Chinese yuan would bring a new level of stability and predictability to trade within the BRICS block. Unlike other cryptocurrencies that can be highly volatile, a stablecoin maintains its value by being pegged to a more stable asset. In this case, the Chinese yuan. Pegging the stablecoin to the yuan at a one-to-one -one ratio would ensure its value remains consistent, minimizing volatility, and providing a reliable medium of exchange for international trade. This stability is crucial for businesses and governments that rely on predictable costs and revenues. A yuan-pegged stablecoin would allow BRICS members to avoid the risks associated with fluctuating exchange rates, which can complicate international trade agreements and impact pricing strategies. Furthermore, using a stablecoin tied to the yuan would decrease reliance on the U.S. dollar, which currently dominates global trade and finance. By shifting to a stablecoin based on the yuan, BRICS countries could protect themselves from dollar fluctuations and potential U.S. financial sanctions. But what they have just done by doing so is they're putting all their faith and confidence in China, which is a known thief and liar of a nation under the, their communist regime right now. Uh, another reason why that will fail, because uh, the, China will start extorting those countries so that the Chinese yuan can stay stable and the Chinese government can still grow artificially increasing their already high inflation covered up by a new cryptocurrency backed with their monetary system, which actually would double or triple their monetary supply. And everyone's concerned about, oh, the dollar's coming home to roost. Well, under high inflation, if the dollar comes home to roost, what will be happening with the yuan and their even worse inflation and money expansion under the definition that I've been told by other YouTubers creates more inflation and, well, bankruptcy, basically. But anyhow, I'm tired of watching this crap. I'm tearing it apart just with my thoughts. Uh, you guys really, I mean, yeah, kumbaya, you know, and all that. But it's a train wreck. And after the train gets put back on the tracks and everything's repaired and those survivors live through it, get back on it, it might be a good thing. But until after that train wreck, it's not going to be a good thing. It's going to be a train wreck. You guys have a nice evening. These are only my thoughts. It's not financial advice. I do not give it financial advice. I didn't even graduate high school. If you listen to me, you're smart, but it's not financial advice. Have a great night.